Ivan went on a store and spent one third of his money on a book. He then went ahead and spent two fifths of the remaining money on a computer game. After that, he spent one fourth of his remaining money on a CD. Finally, he spent one sixth of the remaining money on a candy bar. After buying the aforementioned four items, he was left with fifteen dollars. How much money did he have originally? That is, before he purchased the book. This is a typical grade seven problem from Singapore, and we are going to look at uh, a solution, a visual solution to this problem. So let's jump right into the solution. So remember, you have to remember the fractions. It's a good idea to write down this question on a piece of paper so that you can follow the solution. We are talking about fractions like one third, then two fifths of the remainder, then one fourth of the remainder, then one sixth of the remainder. <clears throat> okay. Ivan spent one third of his money on a book. So if this is his whole amount, one third the red was spent on the book. Okay, and this is the remainder the blue piece. Then he does something with the remainder. Okay. The question says he spends two-fifths of the remainder on a computer game. So this is two-fifths of the remainder. I took the remainder, pulled it down, cut it into five pieces, and he spent two of those for a computer game. Then after he was done with the computer game, he had some leftover money. He bought a CD with one-fourth of that. So I took this, these three uh, <coughs> blue rectangles, pulled it down here, cut into four identical pieces. One piece was used for his CD. Then he bought a candy bar with a fraction of the remainder. So let's see what he did next. So he bought a candy bar with one-sixth of the money. So I took what was left, pulled it down here, and cut into six pieces. One piece was used for the candy bar. Now the question says he was left with 15 bucks. This is kind of crucial. If he was left with 15 bucks, this must represent $15. If this represents $15, each little rectangle has to be $3. That's all we need. If we get this part, we can move forward. And we're going to start from here, try to find out the values of each strip. <clears throat> so let's erase all this. Based on our discussion, this whole thing has to be worth $18. OK, if this is worth 18, the top blue piece is also worth 18. This is 18. So each piece has to be 6. This red piece has to be 6 as well. This has to be 6 as well. So 6 times 4 is 24. Okay. If this is 24, these three rectangles should be 24 as well. So each little rectangle has to be 8. So I have 5 rectangles here. That has to be 40. If this is 40, this has to be 40 as well. If this is 40, each rectangle on the top line should be 20. The whole thing should be 60. Okay. So basically, our answer is 60. How much money did he have before he bought his um, book? He must have had $60. That's our answer.